It's yet again a cold winter day in Canada. I am enjoying myself for the last moments that we are in this country. This is the second to last location that we are filming. But look at this landscape again. We are, I think, a bit more up north right now. It's still minus 10 to 15 degrees Celsius right now. It's cold, but we got another incredible location for you all that we're gonna film. This is a car graveyard with luxury cars, classic cars and everything of American cars that are left behind. A pretty interesting location. I'm a big car fanatic. I know it's not the normal content that we normally film, but I like to show these places as well. And of course today, I'm also joined by... Hello, Danny. Danny from ES Forgotten Bro. Let's film this one again. Let's film it. The boys from Explore More are also with us. Reno and Raymond setting up their gear. I'm done with the calls. Yeah. Time for summer explore. You want to go back to the United States and then back to the South, right? I want to go to California or to Hawaii. Yeah. I'm done with the calls. Like we have been in the cold for almost one and a half, two months right now. And it's also getting to me. I am a person who really loves the cold, but it has been enough. It's time for a nice cocktail in the sun. Right, boys? Well, <laughs> first, there are explorers to be done. First, some explorers, bro. Exactly. And that's, yeah. that's how it always goes. Yes. First, you got to grind. Film some great content for you all. Don't get us wrong. We love doing this, but the cold kills us, really. The location that we're going to is over there. So let's over, head over there right now and let's film this beauty <sighs> okay the boys are gonna make their intro over there but we are already gonna have a walk towards the location bro i don't know are you actually a car fan or not uh i'm i am a car fan i just don't understand anything about it okay so i'm gonna <laughs> explain you some things today okay okay nice but i don't know much about american cars i'm more a fan of european, european. cars um and i'm also like we live in europe I had an old timer before. I had a Mark II Volkswagen. It was my classic car. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Not, don't know a lot about American cars, but I know a lot of brands and stuff like that. But yeah. not in detail like the models. And stuff the only, like that. the only brand I know, the only model that I know, it's a Dutch Challenger. No matter what age or year. That's that's your favorite that's car. That's my favorite car, but I'm pretty sure that we are not gonna find that here <laughs> because it's. You don't uh, know. Maybe an old model. Mm, I don't know. There are really an specific car? cars. Yes. No. Not uh, very expensive, but like. Not very expensive, but they are like they're not produced a lot. Okay. And they are really. I I just love it. It's so so beautiful. I just. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to hear, bro. Yeah. But here on the right of us, we are ending up at the car graveyard. I don't know anything about it, why it's abandoned or why they are here. There's just no clue. But as you can see, behind the bushes here, some cars are popping up. Let's go in there. Whew. Our first step on fresh snow. Oh, this is going to be pretty deep, I think. You good? Yep, yep, I'm good. Okay. These are actually the first cars that we are seeing. Completely crushed up, completely demolished. Jeez. Oh, these are accident cars. Yeah. Wow. They are also pretty new. This was not what I expected when we came to this place. Yeah, this looks See, pretty Even new. a cookie is still left in the window of this car here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. What we're gonna do now is set up the boat cameras and then we're gonna film this place in detail. Let's go. Let's go. Let us take you today deep into the tundra of Canada. Among its icy fields, in the middle of winter, we made a rather odd but interesting discovery. It was barely visible at first, but slowly a massive graveyard littered with classic American cars revealed itself. Thousands upon thousands of cars were left here at some point in time. The former owner of this property was believed to be involved in illegal activities. And at a certain point, the Canadian law enforcement found out and confiscated all his possessions. Many years later, nothing has changed to his collection and all his beloved cars are still left behind. 
nature has already started her reclamation and most cars have become unsavable. Today we will show you the aftermath and take you on a tour throughout his life's work. <sighs> so, oh there you are. <laughs> we just set up these beauties, these cameras, and now we are ready to film this place. And we actually did it from the comfort of these barns that are on this property right here. Let, it, let me just first show you what's inside of those because they're also quite interesting as well. Let's see. Okay, I said quite interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit over exaggerating, but these are places for storage. As you can see, I think this was a car demolishing site or something like that where the demolished cars and there are a lot of parts of them left you can see this used to be of a plow of a tractor there are a lot of motors left in this barn and some appliances as well you can see they also stored some hay up here but it's now completely falling apart okay let's focus on the car graveyard some me out the most because that's going to be the interesting part of this video Whew. First and foremost, I see some new cars standing over here. You think we should first go to the front of the place because we haven't covered that yet? Yeah, yeah. Let's sure. go there. Oh, there's even a big excavator over there. Typical American barns, we have to this side. Four by four GMC Jimmy. Standing here, completely snowed over. Let's see if this one still opens. Seems to be locked. There's actually not that much here in the front of the place, except for this excavator that we have over here. <laughs> Everything seems to be locked. Yeah, I don't think this one's not open. I think yeah. this one is still in operation. Like they might use it from I, time I don't to time, know, but probably it's frozen. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, it's most likely not locked up indeed, like you said. Yeah. It's just frozen up. Oh my gosh. I didn't even look here in the front, but the whole engine is gone off this one. Jeez. Everything is still in there. Okay. Let's wander to the back of this place. Yeah, let's, let's go. see. Whew, it's actually a beautiful day today in Canada. I, I don't think it's that cold, but my friends are all complaining that it's really, really cold. But I get it, it's minus 10. This is a quite a vintage car, I would say. I'm not sure about the brand of this one. You know what this car is? Have any I have no idea. I think it might be a Cadillac or something. It looks like a Cadillac. Oh, Beautiful have, wood interior in there. Doesn't have a symbol. Um, maybe you might have a look at the back of it. To see if, if you can see like a logo or symbol of this one. Uh, it's completely snowed over. Jesus Christ, what was this place used for? <laughs> have a look at this, Danny. A dozen cooktops that were ripped out of houses and put here over time. Jeez. This is a pretty surreal sight, seeing all these cars completely snowed over here in the middle of winter in Canada. <laughs> oh, this one still opens up. Have a look at that. This is the inside of the vehicle. The seat sofas in there. Old American cars used to have this. They would have a big bench in the middle of the driver's seat. Like you could completely lay down on there. It was not safe, but this was how cars used to be back in that time period. Roof liner is also still on there. Oh. Oh, these doors are heavy. Jeez. Okay. Oh my God, the graveyard is literally enormous. Bro, let's traverse the virgin snow and let's see what this car graveyard has to offer for us. Yeah, let's go. Whew. Actually, the snow over here is not that deep. 
I would have expected it to be way more because yesterday was a snowstorm, but that already has passed. Geez, there are a lot of classic cars over here in the graveyard. Let me uncover this logo. I have absolutely no clue what this logo means. Again, I would say again a Cadillac, but I'm not sure. No, 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 no. What's that brand that has like uh, a little statue in front? Uh, that's Rolls Royce. Rolls or, Royce? Or I don't think it's no, a... this is not a Rolls Royce. Yeah, I don't definitely think not. No, no, no. And that's an English car. But they definitely also have it here in the United States. But it could be. Oh, oh. It's a Buick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah it's a Buick. It's like with the three. Uh, three, uh, three colors. Three colors, yeah. Exactly. There's a Godrich Mac McGee, it says here on the back. Godrich McGee. Wow. That's a pretty old car, I think. Okay. Oh my God, this goes on forever. Bro, I have to say, I love these trucks. Oh yeah, typical pickup American trucks. You know from the movies back in the time? Yeah. The Western movies, or not even the Western movies, like the old 60s and 70s movies of the United States always showed these kinds of trucks. And especially the, the crime-related movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are a big movie fan, bro, so that's why I'm bringing it up. Maybe you have some extra clues or extra things to show the people. I have no idea. This is American. <laughs> yeah, Canadian, we should say. Canadian, okay. We are in America. This is a Chevrolet, it says on the back. Wow. Beautiful car. Wow. This graveyard is full of cars yeah, everywhere. They're literally hidden between the trees everywhere. Let's go to this side. I feel like this blue one Oh, I love this blue one. That must be a Cadillac. That must be. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry for the people that are <laughs> big American car enthusiasts, but we are just noobs when it comes to cars. United States cars. It says PL. P-L-Y-M-O-U-T. H. To be honest, I don't know. Plymouth. Plymouth, it says on the back of here. This is a Plymouth car. Never heard of that before. I've... Okay, I've heard it because I think this is a, a GTR car <laughs> from the game. That's why oh, I was from like... from the GTA games? Yeah. GTA, yeah. yeah, GTA. Exactly. I love the interior of this one. It has this blue leather interior in there. Looks wonderful to my opinion. Let's have a look at the front of it. I'm also wondering why all these cars are left here. Of course, right now, they are not worth anything anymore. But back in the time when they were placed here, they could definitely have been sold again, but nobody bothered to do it. Jesus Christ. Wow, the snow is so thick. Have a look at this one. This car burned down. You think it burned down? Look. How do you tell? Oh yeah, definitely. It looks like it. Maybe it got into an accident or something. I hope the owners of this vehicle got out safely. Jeez. This definitely reminds me of the car crash me and Moreno had in Virginia. <laughs> Our car literally looked like the cars that are on this graveyard right now. Isn't that insane? Wow completely snowed over. It's also pretty surreal to see that it's completely snowed over in this, <laughs> this state right here. I'm looking at the logo of this one, but I definitely don't recognize this logo. Whew. 
Okay, I just said that I wasn't getting cold, but now my fingers are definitely yeah. freezing up. For sure, for sure. For sure, right? My, f my fingers are... I don't feel it. I... <laughs> What more do we got over here? They all seem to be like sort of similar cars in this graveyard. So maybe the person that placed them here was some sort of a collector of cars and collected them over the years. Hmm. Let's traverse through these bushes right here. And I see yet again another lovely pickup truck. <laughs> Have a look at the exhaust pipe over here. How it protrudes from the vehicle. Jeez, that's cool. This door completely stuck from the snow, but you can have a look inside of it. This one is miles, even though we are in Canada. And that's 248,000 miles on the odometer. Jeez, that's insane. But you told me your car in Portugal has more miles than that? Of uh, what? How many? How many kilometers does your car have? Almost four hundred. <laughs> Jesus Christ, thousand. bro! Danny has a car in Portugal. The, the the car is older than me. Come on. The car is older. <laughs> no, the car is older than you. Yeah, it's 90, 95. Okay, now a picture of Danny's car in Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Opel Corsa. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun uh, and fun adventures with it in Portugal. Definitely. Wow. Even more cars to this side. Another one of those red trucks to this side as well. And then this blue car back here. Absolutely. To be enough. honest, I think all of this are cars from crashes or something. Because, because, they, think because they look pretty pristine, like... No, look. Yeah, over this one doesn't have a bonnet and stuff like this that. This one has all the windows broken. Yeah. I don't it might know. Might be right. This one doesn't have an engine. This one doesn't have a front window or anything. Not, not even a side. Look, the side is completely. Yeah, you might be just true, might be true. Like yeah, all the cars might have been from crashes, but they all look like classic cars. All look like pretty expensive cars as well. Yeah, maybe back in the day. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So it's an interesting thought, definitely. Okay, let's go back. You good, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to navigate through snow and branches. Yeah, snow and branches. <laughs> the life of an explorer. Okay, let's venture through here. And then we get back on the main road of this car graveyard. Ooh. Yes, let's draw for us back. As you can see, we've made it back to the main road of the car graveyard. Well, let's go further to the back right now to see if we can find something else on this property. Over here at the back they have like these trailers to put behind the tractor. More cars this side. <laughs> okay Danny, here at the end of the car graveyard we can definitely tell that you're Analyzation of this place is true. It definitely used to be a place where they crushed up cars, toads, crashed cars yeah. towards. It's like yeah. a big pile of cars here at the end. This definitely looks like the car where we are driving with through the United States. Oh yeah, <laughs> going up top. Jeez, look at that. The whole roof is almost blown off. Like there's no side pillar left of this vehicle. Jesus Christ. Airbags have blown out of this car. Wow, it's insane. But on this side, these cars look really new from the, the beginning of the 2000s. 2000s. Yeah, exactly. But on this side, these cars look... They look 60s, 50s, 70s. Yeah, 70s, 80s, for sure. It's interesting that the... These are all the new cars that are placed in here later. And then these have been here probably for decades. 
decades upon decades. And it will never be used again. And Belgium is actually, and Europe in general, is actually against the law to place cars like this, unexposed, just exposed to nature, somewhere in the field. Because cars are fluids and you cannot store them like this. But over here in Canada and the United States, it seems like they can just do it. Yeah. Is it illegal in Portugal to place cars somewhere? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do say something that I don't know. Do you see a lot of cars next know. to the road? The? Do you see a lot of abandoned cars next to the road? Uh, yeah. Okay, then it's yeah. probably legal in Portugal. I, I don't know if it's legal or not, but yeah, we tow a lot of cars to, to graveyards. But okay. we have like specific graveyards. Yeah, in Belgium they need to have a special flooring and everything for the leaks of, of the oil oh. and the, of the fluids. I don't think we have like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't have those rules. No, no, no. We have a lot of warehouses with just just cars abandoned there. Okay. So, so yeah. The next time we're on Portugal, let's explore a car graveyard. A mini car graveyard. Mini, you have a mini car graveyard? Mini cars, just minis. Okay, and then we are in Europe and we can tell something about the brands of the cars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we can only show them to the people. But that's already very interesting as well. Okay. I just want to go to the very end of the car graveyard before we go between the rows. Ooh. It's, uh, I think some animal fe feces on the floor here. Don't know if I should show that. <laughs> Ooh, like an open plain, completely covered with snow back here. I don't know if it's a lake or something like that. It doesn't seem to be a lake, but I'm not 100% sure. So we should be a bit careful going over here. Okay, this is the end of the car graveyard. Then he's standing over there. But you can see piles and piles of cars everywhere around here. Completely insane. Whoa, the wind, wind is really cold. Whew. Danny, this one over here definitely piques my interest. You know what kind of car this is? The, this big one? This vehicle over here. Uh, Dutch. <laughs> oh, you saw, oh, it's, it's a little bit exposed, yeah. What? Did you know it? Yes. I know Dutch. Oh, you know the Dutch. Exactly, the O is missing from the Dutch logo. But I believe this is a 1950s vehicle, if I'm right. It's a wonderful piece, it used to be a family vehicle. Lovely, maybe there's something still in the trunk. If you can... oh. <coughs> I'm just pulling the trunk apart. Yeah. I have to be careful. Jeez. I actually don't have to be careful because these cars are going to scrap anyway, but I, I would hate to ruin them. I, I think they're going to be here yeah. and rot. They will rot here forever. Oh. <laughs> the struggle. Okay. We give you a glimpse inside of this masterpiece. I love it. The simplicity of these cars back in the time is unfathomable when you compare it to cars of modern days. Jeez, love these handles back here. Thick benches everywhere. Oh, I just love it. And then the lamp here in the middle of the car. This looks like something from a manor or a castle. Jeez, that's beautiful. Okay, let's traverse backwards. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Here we have another Cadillac. Not a wonderful vehicle. Also, what, what interests me as well is like this, the difference between cars from Europe and from in the United oh, States. Yeah. Look how long this vehicle is. Like you would never be able to drive this in Italy, Spain or Portugal. Oh no. It would just not be possible. It's too big. Roads are too narrow in Europe to even be able to drive something like this. But over here, roads are wide, long stretched and they are just very different than Europe. Every single vehicle in this car graveyard is at least like four or five meters long. Yeah, like more than that. 12 to 15 feet 
long. That's that's insane. And look at the bonnet over here. <laughs> the Clearly. bonnet would be as long as my first car, I think. <laughs> <laughs> my car is half the size of this. No, 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 no. Am I bending it? Yeah, because it's it got into a car crash and it's bent, you see? Oh yeah, the front of it is, is totally broken. Oh, look at the grill of this one. That's amazing. There's no engine anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's try to make our way a little bit further to that side. Oh my God. Oh, we can't go through here, I think. Yeah, this is gonna be impossible. That's totally insane. The inside of a truck right here. Here we see the gauges and everything still in there. But everything has been stripped out of this vehicle. Let's back up a little bit. Oh my gosh. It dropped the light. <laughs> my, whole, my whole camera is tangled up. As you can see. Oh, and I dropped my light as well, yes. Okay. I'm all good. <laughs> Let's make our way out of here. Okay, we have not seen that side of the place yet, or the left side of the car graveyard, so let's check that out right now, and let's head over to that side. Whew, whew. What are these plants, actually? <laughs> they look pretty interesting. Like, on first sight, I would say they look like marijuana, uh, but they are red. You don't see that? Yeah, I don't know what it is. You don't know what it is? Pretty, pretty interesting plant. <laughs> Wow. Whoa. Okay. Let's check out the car graveyard. Oh, here, over here is another pathway that leads over into this long stretch with all the cars to the left and right again. <laughs> Have a look at this piece over here, Danny. The whole bonnet is standing upright inside of there. Crazy. It's insane. Here we can see into the engine of the car. Jeez, that this doesn't fall over. That's insane. And this car looks actually a little bit like a Volkswagen Beetle. Don't you see the resemblance? Uh, yeah. Like a little bit, right? Yeah, but it's... I wish I could say what it is. No, I can't read it either. Like the name on there. There's nothing here. Oh! <laughs> Is that tough? Yeah. Jeez, it's like ice. Oh. No. I love the chrome on the car. It's typically American for the construction. And this is what they call a, a family car. We have to this side, but this is sort of a station wagon, you would call it. Yeah. A seven-seater. Like this would be for very big families back in the time. Jeez, have a look at the length of this car. That's insane. This one also lost its bonnet. Nothing on there anymore. I love the front of it as well. Okay, I'm going to this side over here. Just to see what we can find over there. This car graveyard is literally endless. So many cars in here. I'm actually on a quest right now. I want to find a European car between all of these American cars. Mm. If we can do that, then we can end the video. I think it's going to be really complicated. You don't think we're going to find mm, one? I don't think we're going to find it. <laughs> Why would you have a European car in America? Yeah, maybe somebody was driving around a European car or something like that back in the time and he crashed it as well and brought it to the car graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Another blue station wagon over to this side. I'm looking at these logos, but I think they have been updated from back in the time because they, yeah, they don't mean anything to me right now. Let's uncover this one. There are a few lions on there. I would say it's a Peugeot, but it's definitely not. I can't even see what's on there. Look at the back of this one. Somebody was moving around some construction equipment when they crashed their car. There's literally roof plates over here and stuff like that. There's even a bucket of paint in the back of this car. 
somebody was on a working trip and then they unfortunately crashed their car. Whew. Oh, so much vegetation all throughout this place. Snow in combination with vegetation is... I've never explored like this before in my life. I think we're almost going to the back side of the graveyard right here. Yeah, because there's a road next to here. There's one more yellow car standing to this side. Completely covered in with the vegetation. Okay. What more do we have over here? Yet another Cadillac. Let's see if there's something behind here. Or if you can even make it through here. Uh, seems to be a dead end. Or maybe we can go through this side. <laughs> I love that we are filming right now with two cameras and that you can also see me and Danny struggling from each and every side and from each and every angle. This is so overgrown now, literally hundreds and hundreds of trees developing in this area over here, I think. In like a good amount of time from now, maybe 30, 40, 50 years, this will be a forest completely covered with cars. Okay, we made it through. We made it through, bro. <laughs> okay, we got a few more beauties over here. There, another Cadillac. That's the only brand I know by heart, so <laughs> that's why I'm constantly pointing it out. We got a Chevrolet truck over here. Again, have to state, absolutely love the design of these trucks. They are definitely one of my favorite pieces. Really like the color. Yeah. It's really different. Is this, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm color blind. Is this just a normal question for me? Is it green? Yeah, green aqua, yeah. Agua, yeah. Bro, I, I saw a car. Sorry? I just want to check this car up here. Yeah, definitely. Go ahead, man. Feel free to do. I will have a look inside of this one. Ooh. Massive doorways. And then we enter into this vehicle. As you can see, lovely roof liner and everything. Still in there. Jesus Christ, I love this one. I would actually love to restore this beauty and bring it back to life at some point. Danny is going back there. He's checking out a vehicle. I don't know which one it is, but I will let them go. It's completely covered in snow. It has been snowing for the past few days and it's just really cold. But I love the color of the car. I just want to show you. Oh, this, yeah, we lost the color. Wow, okay, let's go back. Wow, bro, that, that one even still has windows in it. Wow, that's insane. It's still pristine condition. Jeez, look at the inside. The sofa still seem pretty nice. Everything is still pretty nice in there. Wow. So then he just has some problems with the microphone. I just had to change everything out. But this guy is cold as hell. I'm I understand you, bro. It's 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 just my hands. Your I hands. Cannot, I cannot like, bend my fingers. You cannot bend your fingers. No. Jeez. But even the gloves on. Yeah. I don't understand. But yeah, let's let's finish the video. Let's let's. Uh, yeah, because we need to get you into a warm space again. But you gotta agree. We need to make a good video. Yeah. It's also pretty interesting because all these cars that are standing here were once the family cars of somebody or somebody's pride is possession and it's just insane to see them all standing right here. People have lost tears, have had emotions over losing their cars and now they're all just rusting here away. 
as you know it like a car is the second biggest purchase of somebody's life just behind the house and people put a lot of emotion a lot of work and everything into their cars and over here we also have a very american brand or it's definitely an american brand this used to be a pontiac do you still know if they make this car danny do you have any i clue? don't know i don't know the logo yeah it's just a pontiac pontiac's logo like we have seen this logo coming back a lot of times already in the in graveyard here. yeah so it was a very popular brand back in that time but nowadays i don't see them driving around on the roads anymore after being in the United States and Canada for almost four months right now. Not a lovely piece over here. Whew. Okay. I think we went all the way around, bro. Oh, have a look at this one. This is GMC. a General Motors company, a GMC. And this used to be a truck that we have behind the tree over here. Very beautiful blue truck, the white bumper. Okay. And this is also very interesting. This is gonna be the start of something great. You can see mother nature literally twisted her roots through the bonnet of this vehicle, like it's making it her own again. It's twisting around and over the course of half a century or something like that, a big tree will grow right through the bonnet of this vehicle. Something that can only happen over long periods of time. The motor and everything still in this truck. It's fascinating how it's rusting away. Wow. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. Bro, we went all the way around the graveyard. Jesus Christ. I actually quite loved it. Like it's it's a nice sunset today. I We're enjoying the, the last sunset. of the day. Of course, we are very cold. Yeah. But still, I think it was a great exploration. And it doesn't always have to be houses. It doesn't always have to be villas and houses and stuff like that. We can also film other things. <sighs> my beauty in my hand. We go around the world and film amazing locations. Bro, thank you very much for coming with me. You're welcome, I know thank you. This was a big hurdle for you. Like you're not used to these temperatures, but big respect and kudos to you. Definitely a link to Danny's channel is in the description. Check it out. He makes thank great you, videos, you. not only exploring, also other stuff and our travel from Canada and the United States will be on his channel. Check out the vlogs. He's making vlogs about this journey. Yes, thank you. <sighs> Bro, we explored it. I loved it. I want to thank you all for watching it. Please like the video if you liked it. Subscribe down there if you're new to the channel and want to see content like this every single week. Write me a nice comment in the comment section. I'll try to respond to as much as possible. There's also a link in the description for Patreon. There you can support the channel and help us go around this beautiful world that you see here in front of us. There's so much to explore. With the sunset in the back, I'm gonna thank you all for watching this week's video. And I'll see you next week with another epic adventure.